abroad. And the rising price of oil is causing some farmers in Thailand to consider old-fashioned methods of working the country's vast rice fields. Many urban rice producers have replaced their gas guzzling machinery with water buffaloes. It is much slower to work the fields this way, but it's also much cheaper. And as Thailand Channel 3 reports, water buffaloes are good for more than just one job. Thailand produces 23 million tons of rice annually, 6.7 of which are exported. So it comes as to no surprise why most of the countryside comprises vast green paddy fields that stretch out as far as the eye can see. For generations, farmers have been known to tend to the fields alongside water buffaloes. And it's not just at plowing that they're good at. Come harvest time, and the buffaloes would also carry the cut rice to the yard where farmers would press it. Then they would trample the stalks to free the grains. The rice would then be loaded onto a cart, and the buffaloes would pull them to the rice mill. But ever since the plowing machines were introduced over a decade ago, there are fewer buffaloes working the fields now. Eventually, they had no place left in the fields and were finally made redundant. With plowing machines able to go through paddies at five times the speed that these four-legged creatures can, they never stood a chance with the farmers. With the iron buffaloes, the water buffaloes were an easy contest. But with rising oil prices, it looks like things are turning back in favor of these beasts of burden, especially in Prayer province. These are difficult times for us. Oil prices are so expensive that most of us can't afford to use plowing machines anymore. It's much cheaper to use water buffaloes. They only cost around $500 to $600, and they last decades. The plowing machine costs at least $1,500. This is excluding the cost of petrol. Communication between the two may seem a bit rusty right now, but at least man and buffalo are beginning to get used to each other's company once again. Who knows what will happen to this once vital farming tool of generations past once petrol prices go down. But what's for sure for now is that another chapter in Plair Province's farming history has just been reopened. The iron buffaloes have been ditched, and a love affair between farmer and buffalo have once again been rekindled. This is Mimi Gratchanatara of Channel 3 News Thailand for CNN World Report.